Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is finished Friday, recorded on a Thursday. It's Friday, Friday, finished Friday. <sighs> so let's start. First of all, I'm going to put a picture up here. Um, I finished this bag. I started it and finished it in March because I'm that cool. But if you want to learn a little bit more about it, please check out the Things We're Making Thursday video. I'll link it here. And I'll put it down below in case you want to just like, you know, click the link and go to there. That's cool. You know that you can't always see the eye carts. Don't understand how that works, but it is a thing. And the other thing I finished, I'm counting it as a finished because it was quite the project. I finished my rose, guys. I'm a little in thingy with these curly bits that I used a... I'll show you the yarn in a second. So it's got the little curly bits, but oh, not pretty. And then if I pull out my not yet finished project bag, I can just put it in there and some other flowers and probably going to have some kind of a thing, maybe like a foam thing or something. I don't know. Something to set the flowers on top of. I'm going to make some more flowers, but I'm excited. This one's done. Um, I have this much left, so it's actually quite a bit. Uh, this is Yarn Bee Sugar Will Solids, and this one's called Endless Sea. It is not available. You can still get Sugar Will Solids from Hobby Lobby. No, nah, Sugar Will um, Cotton, but I don't think you can get solids. And this was a five ounce gram, five ounce cake, uh, 142 grams, 335 yards or 306 meters, 100% co cotton. It's a size three. Okay. So it's pretty fun. I like it. I also have a rose color that's also not available anymore that I think I'm going to pull out. And so I have this blue and some rose and I have a little bit of variety and then I got this green yarn it is um, a blue clay I think is what it's called and it's got different textures so like some spots it's really thick other spots it's really thin oops so then 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 and then thick um, and it's really pretty. I think it looks really well, works well color-wise with the roses. And part of why I got it was because of the texture. I thought for leaves and things, that would be a really fun texture to make. So I do plan on making some leaves just on their own to put around the flowers, not just the little end bit, you know. So I plan to do that. Let me pull out the yarn band for this one because it's right here. I'm at it. I'll take that out here. Doo -doo. It is also from the Hobby Lobby, as my daughter calls it, Hob Lob. Um, I figure I earned the right to call it that as that's where I broke my knee. The Hob Lob is where I broke my knee. Four years ago, guys. And some of the people that I worked with are still there. And they're not making a lot of money, but they're still there. Some of them have moved up to management, so they're doing better, but it's not the best paying job. But you never have to work on Sundays unless they've, every once in a while they have a really random truck, but in all reality, you never work on Sundays. Because that's a part of the thing, is it's a Christian company from somewhere in the Midwest. I forget where exactly, but that was kind of nice. Didn't have to ever worry about working on Sundays. I did have to work very long hours on Wednesdays. Wednesdays was when the truck came in and oh my gosh, and holidays, because they would close early, but instead of having two shifts, you would just work the open to close and that was hard and long. And I got sick a couple of those days because it was just too much for my body. I have um, hypoglycemia and you don't get enough breaks to get some food in your body when you're working that long. So um, I had serious, serious problems while working there. But it's okay. I still enjoy it. I love the people I worked with, things like that. 
loved the discount on buying things and back then we still had the coupons so it was even better and yeah that was the time to buy yarn <sighs> okay anyway so this is a yarn bee it is called through thick and thin and this color is sage that I got um let me see what else we got. It's a three and a half ounce. It's gained 290 yards. 97% acrylic, 3% polymade. Polymide, sorry. Um, for you grams and meters, people, it's 100 grams. 266 meters. And it's a size four. But like I said, it goes thick and thin so I used because I used the same size hook where is it use the same size hook that I was using sorry got itch that was one of those painful itches um I got it it's a 2.25 that I used so it's really small but I used it because that's the size that I was using for um the rose which oh look I came back, I came back to after sneezing and I realized you can see I'm using a ring light. Okay. Um, wow. Sorry. Um, usually my ring light is off to the side, but right now it's like right there because I was going to do a zoom with somebody and yeah, anyway, but this is pretty dense. Um, but I was just following a tutorial. I think I did go a little bit smaller than she said, but it was okay for what I was doing to use a smaller one. And um, even in the thick parts of this, um, it was fine. But some of this is so thin, like some of the spots of this is so thin, like seriously so thin, that this neat crochet hook was actually the perfect size for it. So um, I think it's fine. And we'll see if I continue to use this size hook or if I go with a different size hook for the future projects that I'm going to be doing with it. Anyway, that, my friends, is... Oh, dang, I feel like I have something in my eye now. This was an interesting video to make. I had to stop and sneeze. I got something in my eye. Ugh. Anyway, it was fun. It was fun. Why did I put this away? <sighs> Before we go, I just want to remind you guys to hook that subscribe button. Um, like the video, as I was saying before my eyes so rudely interrupted me. Please leave comments and, uh, you know, you can leave some yawn down, yarn down in there. I say yawn for my daughter in case you haven't picked that up yet. And now I'm going to tell y'all to remember to like that. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, crochet, knitting, or any other craft. Remember to let your light shine, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!